Oh no. Ah! Oh my god, it's a loading screen. Get it away. Hey, this is Penguin Master 7, and I'm gonna. Sh and I'm filming a let's play on Star Wars Episode 1 Racer. First thing we need to do is actually, like, get the game started. Yeah, so here we go. Yeah, that was that was a weird picture, I know. Okay, um, first thing you see is, well, the title credits and whatever. And then you see this um, really ponsome movie of Anakin in a pod race, which really awesome graphics and stuff, which you never see again. But he's chasing the Bulba and stuff at the end. And then you get to the menu screen, Star Wars, Episode 1, Racer, yeah! So, yeah, instead of doing Terminator, I'm gonna free, gonna do free play. Okay, then you go into this cantina. I'm not sure. I don't think it's Moss Eisley or whatever. Maybe it's Moss Eisley. But, yeah, you see this guy, Team Toba Jaylees, I believe it is, and he walks away from the thing. The holograph. So, you... Uh, I'm not gonna do my file. I'm just gonna go down to practice right here. You get your choice of vehicle. Anakin Skywalker, E.B. Endicott, Dud Bolt, Gazgano, Elan Mack, and Odie Mandrell. You only get those guys. But I like usually do Elan Mack because it's more realistic because the vents spin. Yeah, but I'm not doing him. I'm going to do Dud Bolt since, he's, since he pones. Yeah. And then you can do like five different races, which I've unlocked. Be these five right here, yeah, and I can't get mouse here because there's a huge old gap that I can never get across, but I'm going to do the Bunta training course. Yeah, and I've set a couple of laps, one is by Zok and the other is by Gex. My, um, yeah, my phone just rang. And, uh, you can inspect your vehicle, the, um, Volk Terrain 327, I think it's called, according to the deleted scenes in the movie. Um, and, yeah, Dud Bolt just walks up and it's just while you're inspecting your vehicle, and he just, like, will just stand there next to his pod with, with the, um, Pedroid doing something useless, and then he takes his hand, and I believe he picks his nose, and then he eats it. I don't know why the heck he does that. It's just nasty. Um, I've seen people do that, and I always puke, but then you can start the race from there. And you see, like, the opening scene for the race, depending on what it is. I'm, and then I'm just gonna skip. I just skipped it, and then, boom, you can start the race right there. And see, I passed all those dudes right off the bat, because I have it set on easy, because I'm so lame. But when you pass the Bulba like I did there, always pass them on the left. As, from what I know, always pass them on the left. Because if you try to pass them on the right, he'll just set off a flamethrower at you, and basically blow you up, or whatever. Actually, I don't know what it does to you, I just like them. Um, I narrowly escaped it by turning sideways and moving to my right. And, um, yeah, it almost hit me, and... Yeah, you can use the air brakes, which I just did by accident right there. I meant to press A, but I pressed B. Okay, I meant to press C, but I pressed X, since I have the A button and B button set to those buttons. But yeah, you actually have engine damage meters, which is right there. And you can turn sideways, just like they do in the movie, to get through the narrow chasm at the end. Now, it is possible... Yeah, bam. Yeah, you can also damage your engines. You damage your engines by hitting rocks and stuff like that. And there's a funny r ribbon glitch of ribbon object glitches. And, um, yeah, you basically, it's possible to get through the canyon at the end without turning sideways. It's really hard to do, but I, but I can do it no problem since I can pinpoint it pretty well. But, yeah, I'm going to pause in a minute just to get through some of this because the race can take forever. Yeah, so, yeah. Well, not much to talk about, but, yeah, it's, it's kind of repetitive, especially when you boost it up to five laps. Don't know why the heck they would do this. See, I just pause right there. And, um... Yeah, I set a lap record, which you do if you're really, really fast without hitting anything. So, yeah. My first lap record was, well, duh! It was a lap record the first time I played, because, well, lap standards set that are pretty well low, and no matter how fast you go on the track or how slow, you can still beat the lap record. Because I crashed a million times on my first one, but... Yeah, I'll, I'm going to go through this cane, and I'll show you that I can actually make it through without actually um, turning sideways. It looks easy, but it's actually harder than it looks. Real harder than it looks. Because um, it took me about, like, ten times to actually do it. Like, okay, here we go. Boom! Like that. See how fast it comes through? But it's real, you can do it like I did, but it's just kind of hard. I can't do it. I mean, a lot of my friends who try it, boom, hit the rocks on purpose. 
see the damage thing. A lot of people, a lot of my friends, yeah, trying to crash there, and <laughs> decided to just to show you what it's like to crash, because engine shards blow up, but, yeah. My friends have tried to make it through that canyon without, um, turning. Why can't I crash? Uh, I'm gonna finish third, I don't care. Um, they've tried to make it through that canyon without turning sideways, but they keep crashing. I don't know why it's so hard for them. See, there's that ribbon glitch again. I, it just, it's funny looking, I love it. And Elan Mac finished before me, apparently. Heh, <laughs> figures. I should have done Elan Mac. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna pause. See, there's the, um, scoreboard. You can see who finished where. Don't know who the heck Bud Sang is or what he drives, but I want to unlock that guy. And yeah, so, um, it doesn't matter what race you do. The track favorite, um, will always finish first because, like, it's set to do that. I don't know why, but. Yeah, and so and Watto will actually start singing this song when you get to the screen. Like you da 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 da. I'm gonna do the Malastera 100 just to show you that jump that I was talking about, and I'll do the do the ice level later. And I'm gonna do switch to um Elan Mac so I can show you the realism on his engines. And I like the um air brakes on his. It's really cool. They like pop up the top and like the like super scoops. And there's that jump that I keep telling you about. And um. Um, like, yeah, it shows the engines, and see them slowly spinning, it's like idling right there. And then I switch to rear view, and zoom! Hitting high gear right there. And crashing into a bunch of other people. Um, I, I forget who the track favorite is. Boom, here we go. Bam! Right there. Um, just had to pause for a long time there, and a bunch of people passed me. I don't care! But I'm gonna pause and fit, and like, just do, like... In a minute, yeah. Uh, I like the race in dark places because you actually see the glow streaks of the engines when you go through. And it's really awesome. I love it. It's amazing. Freaking amazing. I love it. Well, yeah. I don't want to say amazing to me. And that, and, the, and you can guess who that quad, um, who that quad engine guy is if you watch the movie too many times. And right now, my engine is about to explode. My left engine is, see how it's leaving a trail of smoke behind. Okay, I just switched to the, um, I switched to the ice level, because I want to show you something that I never knew about pod racers, and in a minute I'm going to, like, like, think my engine's going to blow up. I don't know. I've recorded this with, without, with, and I was doing commentary without the audio by accident, so I have no idea, and, and, well, yeah, and in a minute, you'll I'm gonna hit some uh, frozen frozen lakes, like right here, and this is amazing. I never knew that publishers actually needed ground friction to actually turn. Cause see, I'm trying to turn, but I'm going totally sideways. So yeah, it's basically not like turn any way you want to any any time, like like on any surface. It's not like the Mach Five or whatever when you like um, boom. See, there goes my engine. Boom. Like, and you just fract fractate your engine. I might pause in a minute just to like and show you the end of the race. Yeah, I decided not to. So yeah, so yeah, you can do like free play and you can do tournament mode. But I can just highlight it already. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, it's a really cool game actually. You'd like it if you like Star Wars and you want to race pod racers. This is the game for you. Tournament, free play, time attack, and I I want to do two players so incredibly badly. But um, uh, yeah, Penguin Master Seven signing off. Bye. End already. Dang it, end. I said end. Thank you. Oh no! Oh no! Not this again! Not this, not another loading screen! Ah! Okay, thank you. It's finally on the credits. Okay, what can I do? Da na 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 na. -na. Da na na na, da na 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 na. Credits, 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 credits. Da na 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 na